you doing? My name is Clay Smith. I'm assistant baseball coach at Bellhaven College with the Blazers. I have with me David Gilbert. He's another one of our assistant coaches. Today we're going to talk about basic throwing mechanics to help you throw properly, uh, the proper mechanics to increase your velocity and throw correctly. Talking about basic throwing mechanics, first thing I want to talk about is how to hold a baseball correctly. A lot of people don't know how to do this correctly and don't know the difference between a two seam and a four seam ball that's thrown. If you're playing a position on an infield or the outfield, catcher or pitcher even, you always want to hold a four seam fastball, especially when you're warming up with your teammates. The difference is this, a four seam ball is held with the C, a backward C or across the horseshoe with your two fingers across this ball here, this way. What this does is it increases velocity and decreases movement on the baseball. So it helps you throw the ball harder and more straight. If you're a pitcher and you want to throw the ball with a little more movement, you can always hold a two seam ball. A two seam is held with the narrow seams with your fingers on these seams and your thumb underneath this way. What that's going to do is it's going to increase movement and decrease velocity. So it's going to do just the opposite of the four seam. So anytime that you're playing catch with your buddies or you're uh, playing a position shortstop, you always want to try to throw a four seam grip as much as possible because it's going to create a straighter throw with a little more velocity, a little more, uh, little more uh, spunk on it and get the ball there. We're going to uh, take you through some drills, um, show you how to throw properly. Um, and uh, just some things that you can work on every day. When you start out throwing, you want to first work on your grip. Two seam and the four seam grip. Two seam is here. Remember I said I always throw four seam. Just take it with wrist flips, making sure the ball is throwing properly, has good spin. You want to pop it. It's not like basketball camp. You're not trying to shoot it way up high. All you're doing is popping it real quick and watching the spin on the baseball. That's one good drill that you can do to help learn how to throw correctly to start out with. All right. Another drill you can do is start on your knee. You can get down on your throwing side knee with your glove side knee out front. Start here in a good power position. A good power position is here with your glove facing your target. Your back elbow should be at least as high as your shoulder, not lower. It should be at least as high if not a little bit higher. When I look back, I can see the back of my hand, not the ball. So I'm holding a four seam grip right now. I have my glove facing my target. I have my shoulders closed. My elbow is as high as my shoulder. I can see the back of my hand. When I throw, I'm going to take my glove and my elbow and I'm going to pull it down and create like a chicken wing right here with my, with my front elbow. All right, so it's going to look like a chicken wing here. This is very important when you're throwing. It helps you eliminate a lot of mistakes. So when I throw, it's going to be this way. My glove side is going to go here, creating a chicken wing, and my arm side is going to throw and finish. So a drill you can do, after you do your arm flips, start here and throw and finish. Check yourself, throw and finish. Check yourself, throw and finish. Okay? The next drill you go into as far as throwing mechanics is just a stationary power position. So I'm going to do the same thing. But this time I'm standing up. I'm in a good power position. My feet are a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. I've got my glove facing my target. My elbow is as high as my shoulder. When I throw, I'm going to create this chicken wing right here. There's two reasons why you do that. One is, if my glove flies this way, my shoulder flies that way. So the ball can go all over the place. Another good reason is, if you're pitching and somebody hits a line drive back at you, my glove's right here to protect me. My gloves behind my back this way, I don't have anything to protect. So I want to make sure that I finish with my glove right here at my chest, or my heart. Elbow, I check myself, throw and finish. I check myself, throw and finish. One more time. I check myself, throw and finish. All right? The last drill you can do is just step behind. All you're going to do is break it down. I'm going to step behind with my throwing side foot. Step behind, separate, check myself, throw and finish. Step behind, check myself, throw and finish. Step behind, check myself, throw and finish. Now, if you can master those and go into real motion with that, a throw is going to look just like this. And you can see if you put it in slow motion, 
And I'm doing the same thing I was doing when I broke it down from here. And you should be able to throw correctly if you follow those drills.